feel like Mayweather has won each of these rounds. Some one was closer, but uh, I thought he's, he's won them all. He doesn't seem, and this is not to take anything away from Moreno, but Mayweather doesn't seem as sharp as we've seen him in other bouts. Well, and part of that has to do with the fact that it, it, Arroyo could very easily be the best guy he's faced. Certainly, Leha, who was 18 3, was a very good fighter, but Arroyo was, in fact, ranked number one as recently as two years ago, and even though he's fallen out harder times in terms of winning fights, clearly he's not a bad fighter. And also, he, he brings a style to this fight that, as Roger Mayweather aptly pointed out, <laughs> Chris Dunwinder got in the middle of the fighters, couldn't get away. As, as Mayweather aptly pointed out, it's not a style that's that easy. Boy, trying to talk the fans, too. Doesn't need to be fighting anyone but the guy in front of him. And I think part of the reason people started chanting that is, and you, you made a point early on in this bout, some of the show voting of Mayweather not only maybe didn't enchant the judges, but some of the fans as well. as we come to the end of round four, scheduled for ten. Well, when I think about not being able to see, it's overwhelming. I went to the doctor. Mr. Arroyo was sent to the canvas on the final punch of round four. Just as we were going to break, the timing was awful for us, but here, you will see Arroyo waging a battle and gets whacked by a great left hook and then a right hand by Mayweather and went down right at the bell. Got to his feet, looked a little wobbly, but he will go on. So let's see if Mayweather can capitalize on that now. Normally when a boxer knocks down another boxer out, it's a 10-8 round. Did you feel Arroyo had won that round up until that last week? I actually did, but I'm going to give Mayweather a 10-8 round in any case because of the severity of the knockdown. He is whacking Arroyo. This fight could well be over here in the fifth round. And Arroyo had to get up because in Mississippi you can't be saved by the bell except in the final round. And now Arroyo trying to tackle Mayweather. Good, good work by Pretty Steinwetter, standing eight count. And that is in effect in Mississippi. That's an appropriate call and this is why I like the rule. He's penalized already, but now it gives him a chance to see if he's going to be all right. Some would argue the other way, and they'd say, gee, Mayweather could have finished him off without that standing. He comes, but I like it. Now, there is a three knockdown rule. And there's plenty of time left in round five. Look at the body work by Floyd Mayweather. That's the part that really impresses me, because most youngsters wouldn't be doing it. And he knows the combinations to use. The uppercut started it. And that'll go. Fred Steinwinder the third says this is over in effect. Fans don't like it, but I think it's a good stoppage because I don't think Arroyo is going to rebound from that. Well, you know, Floyd Mayweather didn't endear himself to this crowd. I think primarily because of the, the some of the showboating early. This is not his home turf, but even the people that are a little distressed should give him his due because he performed exceedingly well in that ring. Floyd Mayweather now 13-0 with his 11th stoppage as he stops Hector Arroyo in round number five. And now, well, that's a pretty good list, his last four opponents, the wins that he's posted against Godwin. The records as we look at the number. And against a veteran in Hector Arroyo, and uh, really, what that graphic shows is that Hector Royal came here to fight. He didn't come here just to show up, and he did pretty well against Mayweather. They will learn from this fight. He will learn. Jeff behind him 
and Roger will and Miguel Diaz will help tutor him from this table. Let's hand it up to Mark Firo for the official time of the stoppage. Ladies and gentlemen, the time, one minute, 21 seconds of the fifth round. The winner by tactical knockout and still undefeated, pretty boy, Floyd Mayweather. Mayweather. Well, you hear some of the cheering because of some of the antics from Floyd earlier, but when you cut to the chase and look at the pure boxing ability, an impressive stoppage of Hector Arroyo. We'll hear from Floyd Mayweather Jr. when we return to Biloxi after this timeout on ESPN2. Biloxi, Mississippi, we're back in action Friday night, January the 16th, a week from now. We're in Boise, Idaho as Kenny Keene takes on Richard La Montaigne. It all begins at 9 p.m. Eastern next Friday night. Thank you, Bob. Uh, Floyd Mayweather got the job done here. Uh, Hector Arroyo was kind of rough on the inside. You guys had clashes of heads. Was that style a little difficult to figure out for a round or two? Well, well first I want to thank my sponsors, Nietzsche and um, Groovy Styles, but um, he was kind of awkward. He was, you know, a real, a real tough guy, but um, I stayed focused, and um, God was behind me, and I took care of my job tonight. You did stay focused, and I thought part of that was the how well you counterpunched. Let's look at the first knockdown, and this will give us a good idea. You kept your head about yourself, and you also knew what punches to go to. Describe this for us. Right now, I'm just taking my time. He, he was in there, you know, sh sh he, he was in, we worked, at, we worked on that in the back of the dressing room, but he was sitting right there shooting his whole load. I was, you know, just catching him on my shoulder and my arm. He landed a few good shots, but, you know, the champion prevailed in the end. And you knocked him down with the left hook before, and then here, we're going to see that left hook again. That's the same knockdown. Nice combinations. Man. And now the end of the fight, Floyd. What's that pretty? Look at it. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, no. I like your humility. That was... <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Now, let me ask you something. This fight, you came out, you showboated a little bit earlier. You do that. That's part of your thing. Obviously, it rankled the crowd a little bit. They weren't thrilled with that. Do you, do you worry that that's going to create animosity even with the officials? Listen, they hate Camacho, too. It's some guys you All love, right. some guys you hate. Um, yeah, that's what sells tickets. And I'm here to sell tickets, you know. I'm a performer. That's what I do. I sell myself. I don't, I don't need nobody to sell me. I can sell myself. Okay, so you don't mind them being a little annoyed with you? I let them boo. It's, it's no problem. I'm, I'm, I'm going to deal with that. And that's a part of boxing. Some love you, some hate you. Uh, but I love myself. Well, I'll tell you what. Well, we know that, and I'll tell you what. You look good tonight. So you have a lot to love. Uh, thank you. And I just want to, you know, say hi to my dad in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and say hello to all my fans back in Las Vegas and Grand Rapids, Michigan. I'm sure your dad's watching. All right, Floyd Mayweather, happy with his performance. Why not? Let's go back to Bob Papa. And you know, Floyd Mayweather Sr. is happy in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and as his son goes to 13-0 with 11 knockouts. Well, the men have had their turn when we come back. The women take center stage as we return after the